Hi, in this video I will briefly present Gsynth Creator. Gsynth Creator is a new tool for creating sound grains of complex harmonic signals like the noise of a car engine. The approach is based on granular synthesis. With this tool, the user will first construct the sound grain database for a given signal and then evaluate the quality of the synthesis by listening to the original and synthesized signals. So first, let's uh, select an audio file. Then we select an output folder, which will contain the database and the synthesis results. We now enter the extraction parameters and the type of engine. For a combustion engine, we can select the number of cylinders and the number of strokes which will help in the identification of the fundamental frequency of the engine. So we're going to start by estimating the fundamental frequency of the signal. After we select a high frequency limit, we need to identify the harmonics we want to use for estimating the fundamental frequency. So for each harmonic, we need to click on the harmonic and enter the order of the harmonic relative to the fundamental frequency. So here the most uh, emerging harmonic is order 4 and we're going to use 4, 8, 12 and 16. So 4 harmonics are used and we can follow the estimation and in some cases we can refine that estimation by manually drawing, redrawing the, the harmonic um, variation here as a hint for the second phase, second stage of the harmonic estimation. And here we see that the harmonic is uh, well estimated. So we have our fundamental frequency, which is in red here, it's the bottom line in red, and we have all of all our harmonics. And once this is done, the extraction phase can start where all the grains are extracted based on this fundamental frequency. So let's now compare the original signal with the synthesized signal. That was the original signal, uh, signal now the synthesized signal for the same ramp. So let's now create a synthesis with a user selected uh, engine speed variation instead of using the same speed as the original signal, same variation as the original signal, we now uh, create our own variation of speed using this plot here. And we're going to be able to evaluate the synthesis for this specific uh, engine speed variation. Okay, we're going to now demonstrate uh, the construction of the database on another set of signals, which is the noise of a propeller engine from an airplane. And in this case, we're going to ch select multiple channels from the same recordings. So in that way, we'll be able to obtain several databases for each channel of the engine as well as uh, evaluate the synthesis for each channel. And the main thing to remember is that the fundamental frequency estimation in this case has to be done for a specific channel of the recordings. 
So this is what we see here. We're going to select which channel we want to we want to use for the fundamental frequency tracking. Once this is done, we repeat the same process. That is, identify all the harmonics we want to use for the fundamental frequency estimation. So in this case, we pick order one, two, and three, and four. We pick four harmonics that are prevailing in the signal contents. We could pick more, but four is enough to have a sufficient accuracy in the fundamental frequency. And here are, here are the harmonics plotted. Now the grain extraction. Let's now listen to the original sound of the first channel. That was the first channel. Let's now listen to channel number three. Now the synthesis for the same ramp, but with a different grain selection parameter. Let's now listen to the synthesis for uh, another channel, channel 3. And finally, let's now create a user-selected uh, speed evolution, like we did for the car engine. So we're going to draw the speed variation arbitrarily, anything we want, and we'll be able to listen to this specific uh, speed variation. That's it for now, so please feel free to contact me for more information.